Stop the press. It's 30 degrees in London today, which can only mean one thing. Thank heavens for Brazilian straightening of your hair. Thank you Zoltan. More of that to come this Sunday when I show you the secrets of how I keep this hair smooth in this weather. But also it means one thing and one thing only. Minimum serums on your skin because you will wake up, you will have a shower, your skin will already be sticky. The last thing you want is thick, gunky creams. And so I put something on Instagram and then I thought, actually I should just create a video because so many of you ask me questions. What serums should I be applying on a hot, sticky day? I've literally got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in front of me, and I'm going to show you why they're good for your skin, what the active ingredients are in them that you need on a hot day, and the ingredients to avoid. And that is anything in a tub that is thick, occlusive, oily, gunky, greasy, and doesn't go in. The exact opposite of the best serums. So let's start at the top. This is Hyalu B5. Um, and the active ingredient is, not surprisingly, hyaluronic acid. Now, Hyalu B5 is a combination of hyaluronic acid and pantothenic acid, that's the B5. Vitamin B5 um, is converted in the skin to pantothenic acid, which repairs barrier function, soothes, calms, tries to get rid of mild irritation. It's basically your skin's best friend in summer. The combination is a beautiful, lightweight, single serum that you could use on its own and then put your SPFs and your makeup on top. I really like it. It's a great product. Um, it's particularly good for skin that is sensitized in the summer. By the way, I've got some lovely little insect bites down here. That would really help soothe and calm it and cool it. You can tell I love this because look, it's nearly empty. That is um, hydration booster from Indeed. And the reason I love this is because clear serums with hyaluronic acid, and I'm gonna go through, th through a few here, can be slightly sticky on the skin and they can peel under makeup. And one of the things I always say is if you want to break that hyaluronic acid, sticky surface feeling is you need a milky serum on top. Surprise, surprise, this is the Milky Serum I use. This is indeed Hydration Booster. The reason it's good is because it's loaded with hyaluronic acid and it's got glycerin in as well, and it's the glycerin that gives you that gorgeous, soft, dewy feeling to your skin. Glycerin goes so well under makeup, it's really lovely. Now, you should be looking for hyaluronic acid, you should be looking for glycerin, you should be looking for very light levels of ceramides, but not heavy occlusive oils or ceramides at this time of year. And one of the ones I really love is Vichy Aqualia Thermal. This is a combination of humectants, so ingredients that attract water into the skin and gentle moisturizers, but super lightweight, really lovely to use. It's got um, soothing mineral water in it as well, but for me, the active ingredients are the hyaluronic acid, which is a sort of star ingredient in this. I really like it. Now, if you want hyaluronic acid on... Oh, I just knocked my table and that went... It's like a drum roll. If you want hyaluronic acid and a really lovely, easy to use product, this is Pestle and Mortar Hyaluronic Acid and it's a pure hyaluronic serum. It's quite liquid. I wouldn't say it was multi-molecular, but uh, it's, it goes in, it's cooling, it's soothing. These serums go all around your eyes. If your eyes are irritated or sensitized, if you've got hay fever like me, they can go right over the eyelids. All of these serums go really beautifully like that, down to your neck, down onto your hands, they sink in in seconds. If you put your makeup on straight away, you'll have the perfect base. If you want a little bit of extra hydration, you put a milky serum on top. It's so easy to do. I can't believe more people don't layer serums and just dump the gunky creams. They're not pleasant at all. Now here's a really nice one. This is Medicate Hydrate B5, which is hyaluronic acid with the pantothenic acid in it again. So this is very similar to this. Both of them have a similar formulation. Um, I suspect that when La Roche-Posay formulated this, they were inspired by this from a company called Medicaid. So again, you've got that soothing, hydrating, calming serum that is perfect in this weather. These are all perfect for flying. These are all well under 100 mil. They go in your bag. These are your holiday skin, hot weather skin saviors, trust me. Now, if you're concerned, bearing in mind these are all just calming and soothing and hydrating, you are concerned about anti-aging and you want your serum, <clears throat> excuse
excuse me, if you want your serum to have an active ingredient in that is going to try and repair your skin. There are two I recommend. One would be look for peptides. This is hydropeptide facelift and it's a really lovely lightweight gel cream serum loaded with peptides. And this is really great for drier skin and slightly older skin. You could easily layer these, say for example, these two together. So a pure hyaluronic acid with a little bit of peptide on the top. And again, this one's a nice one to use at night as well for older skin. But you know your active ingredient that you should be looking out for is vitamin A. Retinols, they're unstable, they break down in sunlight. But retinol palmitate, which is the, it's, a, it's an ester of uh, retin-A uh, that is developed in a lab so that when you put it on your skin, it's not irritating and you can build up your layers. You can use it in the morning, but you can build up your layers and your levels within your skin so that eventually it becomes a retinoic acid in the skin. Now, it's the basis of all the, high, the Environ ranges, and uh, this is Intensive Serum 4, so it's obviously got a fairly high level of the retinol palmitate in, but totally not irritating, and you can use it in the morning. Super lightweight. That's what I want my serums to look like. I want them to look like that. Don't waste any of it, obviously. There you go. I mean, my hands are light, they're not sticky. You could put these right on your neck, down your chest. You could put them under SPFs. You can put them under summer makeup. You're not going to be shiny and uncomfortable. Your makeup is not going to slide off. They all make a perfect base for makeup. These are the active ingredients. These are the formulations you want to use on your skin on a hot, sticky summer day. Try them, try them on counter. Tell me what you think about them because Honestly, they work. They really work. Your skin will thank you for them. And they're also perfect holiday travel companions. All of them are under 100 mil. All of them fly really well. All of them travel really well. All are completely stable in daylight, can be used throughout the day and at night if you need it. But more importantly, they feel light and comfortable and pleasant to use when the temperatures start to soar. I'm going to put all the details down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Let me know what else you like in terms of lightweight summer serums that will help you through the coming months when it gets hotter and hotter and hotter and hopefully you'll get away on holiday too.